Hey guys, it's me again. And as you see, I'm using a Windows XP virtual machine. I'm doing this because the main reason is a YouTube user has asked me how to get his old computer. It was a computer, uh, HP Pavilion computer that he had that was running XP. How to how he can get it on the internet. So I'm gonna show you how. First of all, you want to check your see what edition of Windows XP you're running because I'm running right now a professional with Service Pack 3 so we'll be good to go if you have like the RTM or Service Pack 1 you probably would go ahead and upgrade to Service Pack 2 but here's a quick note if you're going to install Service Pack 3 you must have Service Pack 2 installed or Service Pack 1 if you're doing it without the service packs, it would be better to install Service Pack 2 over that, the RTM Windows XP, then Service Pack 3. Or you could do a clean installation of Windows XP with Service Pack 3 integrated. So we can get better compatibility with so certain software that we use, like Office 2010. Oh, one note that the first thing you're going to have to do is upgrade Internet Explorer first before downloading any other browser. I download I got the Internet Explorer without being in MSN. Somehow I tried to first install it yesterday and must in, you can get it through the automatic updates. this language bar is going to come up and you may want to disable the language bar because it's not like we're going to be using that. We're going to go ahead and set this up after we got done upgrading to Internet Explorer 8 you want to go to next and yeah we can turn on suggested sites and use express settings because I had got Internet Explorer 8 installed it's just letting you know that you have upgraded to Internet Explorer 8. Yeah, I changed the home page to Google. But first, if you can't get Internet Explorer through automatic updates, you probably want to change the home page from the MSN site when you set up Internet Explorer. You probably want to type Microsoft.com slash Internet Explorer this should come up you want to go to download you want to go to the one that says Internet Explorer 8 and once you install Internet Explorer 8 you want to accept the license agreement and install you should get any automatic updates instead without further ado let's go ahead and continue on since I already installed Internet Explorer 8 we're going to go to the site called Ninite we're going to get some serious we're going to make the computer usable because he wants to go on the guy wants to go on YouTube with how to get flash and all that we're going to go ahead and select Chrome and Firefox we can add them in if you're using Windows Live Messenger we can use that a good little tool to use and we're going to need some codecs like VLC Media Player the K-Lite codec You could customize what add-ons you need. We can get Winamp. There's all of the other stuff that we can. You may want to select all of these in the run times. You're going to need Adobe Reader for PDF. You're going to need an AV. 
We can continue to scroll down. May need to get a disk defragmenting tool. I'm gonna get a few other programs. And for compression, I'm gonna use WinZip. I got a copy that I'm gonna install. And we're gonna also need to get C Cleaner. By going to ccleaner.com. That's another tool that we're gonna need. Because it's not, you don't get it from this universal installer. You can go and download that from Terraform. We're gonna go to run. I'm gonna check close dialog when it when download complete. Because we're gonna be using a different internet browser. One of my favorite internet browsers. Let me do some real quick. Let me fix those sounds. No, no. Yeah, to fix the sound, make sure this is because sometimes when you upgrade to Internet Explorer 8, so they, uh, they give you more updated sounds. And you can customize the installation however you want it. And let's uncheck those toolbars. You do not need the toolbars. They are a resource hog. They will slow your computer down. So I'm going to go ahead and install it without those toolbars. So it will be less clutter. We're not going to run it yet. Because we're going to do some other downloading. And you can always save the installers. And you can also change apps. Like for instance, I'm going to go to this. Oh lord, and the Explore Pros. But now it's not. Let's go back and get malware bytes, for instance. the installer again. Okay. You can always save the installer. Click save. Let's put oh I'm gonna give it a name. Let's say universal installer. set it up and we'll go to show details to, to see the status of all your programs whether it's downloading and installing so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get to you after it finished setting up everything Okay, now since I got all the applications installed, so you would be good to go. Uh, so I have to put it back to full screen. It does take a long time. And it will put like icons on the desktop whenever you're installing it with the Midnight installer. And my next video should be coming up soon on how to make Windows XP faster. And it, it's kind of sluggish because I gotta disable some of the visual effects. As you see, as you see, I finally got the internet. You gotta set up on the internet. I'm gonna do a tutorial for how to upgrade your Windows Media Player. Should be coming kind of loading up soon. It's a little slow. 
I'll check the task manager. Oops, there we go. There's no reason to have two Firefoxes open. As you see, I'm running the current version. The one that's always up to date. Let's go to my YouTube channel to see if it's able to handle the video. Let's see if it displays everything. It's supposed to be connecting, like this is saying. Then I gotta reboot it. Let me uncheck that. We're using a VM. Yeah, that's gonna be a little work. And Firefox does freeze sometimes. If you want something that does good speeds, use Google Chrome. This is my channel as I pulled up. Yeah, and I gotta do a little work on it soon. Put a new background and fix it up. So that's how you get your Windows XP fully set up on the internet. And um, I hope this video helped you guys out. Comment, like, and sub. Thank you for watching.